Hey, what's up guys? Slow Mo back at you with another video and today, today we're going to talk about Sony's PlayStation 5 event, which will be taking place this Thursday on June 11th. This stream is highly anticipated for many reasons, most notably because we've been drip fed news from Sony on their next generation console until now. And with the console set to release later this year, all we've got from Sony is a logo, a controller, and a good amount of technical information on the hardware, but what we haven't been able to get or see are two things we've wanted to see the most the console and the games and so with today with this video I'm gonna go through some of the rumors of what may happen and I'm going to let you know if there's something of those rumors that we'll likely see or likely not see but before we get started hit the like and subscribe button that'll really help me out I appreciate that and with all that out of the way let's get into it there are rumors that Sony will reveal the PlayStation 5 console and I do believe these rumors to be true. There are confirmed reports that Sony has begun production on their next generation console. The chances of someone leaking a photo of the hardware has now increased. Sony is not going to want the first look of their next gen console to be some low res blurry picture from a factory worker. Nah, nah, nah. So I do think they'll want the first impression of the console to be on their own terms and therefore they'll go ahead and reveal the console this thursday now usually in the month of june on a year where next generation consoles are launched it is typically this month where we get the prices of these next gen consoles i do not think that is going to be the case this time around sony and microsoft are doing their best to not overplay their hands and sony is used to microsoft providing their price first and being able to adjust so considering this event is happening before whatever xbox event is happening in june or if one is even happening in june anymore anyway if recent news is to be believed then sony is going to keep the price to themselves until either microsoft finally blinks or they reach the date they want for pre-orders to start now i know there are people out there who think that like you need to show the price of the console this month to prepare the gaming community but this is kind of antiquated thinking no one does this in the tech industry anymore whether it be smartphones graphics cards or HDTVs, a price can be revealed as late as a few weeks before the product is sold. Apple could reveal their next iPhone in the first week of September and then release it at the end of the same month and guaranteed it'll sell out pre-orders in hours. That is the power of a strong brand and the PlayStation is definitely that kind of brand. Now that isn't me saying Sony is going to make you wait until October to get the price, but I'm telling you not to expect it anytime soon. Let's get to some of these rumored game reveals. So there's a rumor we're going to see Horizon Zero Dawn 2. That game is definitely in production by Guerrilla Games. And Sony does have a tendency to announce and reveal games that are going to be released years and years in advance. So it isn't far-fetched at all that this could be revealed, but I'm thinking it won't be. I actually think there may be a higher chance we'll get an announcement of Guerrilla Games' next multiplayer game. Probably a Killzone game, but many hope it to be so calm. But I do believe there is a higher chance they'll show that over Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Now, instead of those two games, what we will get is a release date for the first Horizon Zero Dawn going to PC. Now, if you don't remember, the first Horizon Zero Dawn was announced to be ported to PC last spring with a release date of summer 2020, where here we are in summer 2020, we don't have a release date yet. They're definitely going to give us that release date. And in addition to that, they're probably also going to do the announcement that Bloodborne is also coming to PC, and that will be out from what I heard in q3 2020 and there was a rumor that came out about this last week and that rumor i'd heard a few weeks earlier with the one difference is that the release window will be q3 2020 so expect to hear those two things these are not the only playstation exclusives making their way to pc but they are the only ones we'll hear about this thursday in my opinion because this is the first big PlayStation event they've held since, I don't know, 2018. We're definitely going to see some third-party games that Sony has the marketing rights for. So expect to see at least a trailer at the very least and likely some gameplay from some games. But most notably, you're going to see something from Call of Duty as well as some significant gameplay from Marvel's Avengers being developed by Crystal Dynamics and published by Square Enix. If you recall this time last year, Square Enix's E3 conference showed the significant number of their games running on PlayStation for pros and PlayStation had the marketing for a lot of their games. So considering that the Avengers was delayed from earlier this year to September, they're definitely going to show that game. They're going to try their best to show it off and do some marketing for it. So my prediction to go even further with that prediction, considering this is a PlayStation 5 event, we will see Marvel's Avengers and Call of Duty running on a PlayStation 5. Now for another rumor, this rumor is that Bluepoint Games 
who do almost exclusively remakes of older classic PlayStation exclusives, are doing a Demon's Souls remake for their next project. I do believe that to be the case and also believe it will be shown at this event. Personally, I'm not a fan of From Software Games, so I'm not looking forward to this one, but I've heard from multiple people who are fans of their games that they are hoping Bluepoint puts some additional work in on this game far beyond just modernizing the visuals. I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not, considering Bluepoint didn't do any gameplay changes to Shadow of the Colossus and the Nathan Drake collection, but we'll see. There is talk that Housemark, Supermassive Games, and Ready at Dawn are all working on exclusive titles for the PlayStation 5. I don't think we're going to see all of those games, we may see just one of them, but I do believe we may hear about one of these studios being officially acquired by PlayStation Studios. My money's on Housemark, as both Supermassive and Ready at Dawn have projects they are currently working on with third party publishers. Housemark has been working on mostly just PlayStation titles since 2013, so it seems far more likely that Sony would just bring them into the fold considering they have been a second party developer for them for a very long time, much like how Insomniac Games was a big second party developer for them prior to their acquisition. And finally, there's a filing for trademarks in Argentina for Polyphonic Digital, Gran Turismo, and the logos. This has got people speculating that a Gran Turismo game is going to be a launch title for the PS5. Now look, the filing of trademarks does not guarantee anything is happening for a game of that title anytime soon. Considering there hasn't been a mainline Gran Turismo game in 7 years, it wouldn't surprise me at all if a Gran Turismo 7 was going to be a launch title and also shown at this event. So those are my thoughts on the PS5 event. What do you think Sony is going to do? Are they going to show the console or talk price? What games do you expect to see? Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Hit the dislike button if you didn't. It's all good. And hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Peace.